and welcome back to Minecraft Amplified. <coughs> in the last in the last episode, we got out of the cave we were in, which yielded nothing, and I sauntered on over to by where the village was, and I found this epic entrance. So, we are now going. Oh, you know what I should do while I'm here because this isn't very far from the village at all, is, um, is deposit some items, you see. That's probably a good idea, you know. Depositing these items will allow me to have more inventory space, and because I am... Oh, you got to be kidding me. There's cave right here. There's entrance right here by the village. Darn it! <laughs> okay. Okay, so if you make a mistake, I am going to explore that over there. This probably connects because they look like they're going the same direction. But, first things first. Yeah, that's the one way to do it. Is uh, go in here, take this, this chest, you know, and deposit some of these more precious items. I'll, tell, I'll keep the gunpowder this time. And my bone meal. Oops. And let's see what else. What else? I definitely want to stash the iron. Oh no, I want to keep the iron I have and cook the other iron, which is this. That's ha. That's the way to do it. I don't think I'm in extreme hills. Yeah, I'm in the savannah, so I can't get any emeralds for these guys. I may have to find some chickens for that one dude. But, oh, oh man, I'm tired. Not really. I just got up. Oh, gotta get rid of some of this uh, stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, the end of pearl. I'll keep the flesh. I got plenty to eat, so some of this is getting deposited. Deposited. Just in case, you know, I die and I lose some stuff. Oh, we definitely want to deposit this. I don't want to die and lose some stuff and then, oh my goodness, he lost all of his crap. Huh. Okay. Keep these over here, and while I'm here, huh. I like to I like to have a portable workbench. Huh. <laughs> these guys make me laugh. But in this case, I'm going to jettison my supply of crafting and, and smelting. And oh, now I can't open this stupid chest. That was smart, Sower. <laughs> okay, I got that done. Okay, here we go. Armor's still pretty good. Hmm. Huh. Same, man. I'm a gonzo. Same. They used to sound like some guys from like the 40s. Man, <laughs> see? I'm gonna show you some stuff with buy some emeralds, see? Meh. <laughs> That's too, too much. Not TMI. That's stupid. But just too much. Or. I'm I'm done. That's the new thing. Ha! <laughs> That's so funny. I'm done. I can't take it anymore. Too much internet for one day, I guess, huh? I'm done. <laughs> oh, hello, skeleton. Didn't I just kill you? Didn't I just destroy you in the last video? My goodness, they they just don't stop. Ah, oh, there's not enough light, I guess. Okay, here we go. Eat some potato. Eating my potato. Now we're going to the cave. The ca what the? Oh! It didn't go anywhere. And why not? Because it's on Y68. Oh! Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm starting to. You're starting to understand what I meant when I said there were no caves, right? Oh, there's lots of caves. Don't let it get, don't let it, uh, you know, get me wrong. But it's to what extent these caves let you travel into the depths of the earth. That's the issue. And then we have this expansive desert over here, which I don't really... Oh, look at that, man. Wouldn't you love to get up there? <laughs> well, you know what? We just might have to do that. We might have to build an epic bridge, too, coming off of this, going to some other epic land formation. Who knows? That would be quite an interesting... Oh, look at that. The ground actually, the, the grass actually goes away if the water's over top of it. That's different. That's different! Little Markiplier in there. Ugh. Oh, sorry, I'm indigesting. I'm always indigesting. At least the flame is not right on time. Usually it's right on schedule, but not today. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Reed Farm. Wow, that's a lot of reeds in one place. 
What am I, uh, discovering the new world here and having all kinds of epkins all the time? Just can't get enough. Let's, let's, let's investigate this now. There's no real cave entrance under here that I can see. I think we're in the river. Yes. The river biome, that is. I realize that I am actually in a river. That's not the point. But, uh, I am collecting a really, really interesting l amount of reeds. What, I get 31 out of that job? That's, uh... <clears throat> Well, three is one book, so that's ten books or three bookshelves. So we'll say for every every nine reads you collect, you get a bookshelf. There's some some what appears to be a type of maybe sort of cave going on. If I just kind of drop down here and take a look inside, uh, but this this I can tell you right now, this this probably not a promising yield. I did find some iron though, so we'll take that. But now see, that's a, a surface cave. So, uh, I take it back. Maybe, uh, it's got a little more success than we thought, huh? What do you say? But iron is always good. Never lets me down. Okay, see? See what I mean? Oh, you want me to dig a little bit more? Okay, but, uh, <laughs> Well, you called it. Whoever said that, you called it. I still don't think it's gonna go very far, but that was an epic find. See, now now make being made a liar. This is really narrow, though. I don't know if this is going to open up or not. We'll see. We'll see what happened. It's still... Oh, oh, look at that. Can you believe it? Look at that. See? See when Sorv li listens to his fans? But Sorv, you can't hear us. How did you... Never mind. Just never mind. <laughs> ha! How do you like that? We're down to Y41, and I see more deaths. Okay, then. It would appear that we have found the cave we are looking for, and not a moment too soon, because that sun was about to set. Let us go this way and exhaust... Oh, wow. Oh, 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 a ravine. Oh, jeez. That hit me in the eyeball, didn't it? I don't know. Yeah, right in the side of the face. Okay, do I have any arrows? Yes, I do. Yeah, playing shot for shot. Oh yeah. Oh, that had to hurt. Try not to take those arrows dead on, but I can't help it. It's too funny. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. This is one of those epic ravines that you can't even see, like to the bottom or anywhere. And it looks like I've got a, a parallel cave that will take me to a lower depth anyway, so I don't have to scale the ravine. This is sweet. Well, what else would you want me to do? I mean, I have to go through these caves in order to get the resources I would require. Because, you know what happens once you get diamond and you start enchanting and all that stuff, is your your resource uh, pile and your resource stockpile just explodes exponentially. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to have to beat this, this skeleton the old-fashioned way. Oh my goodness, no! No, my goodness, no! I can't believe I did that! I jumped right into the cave! Oh. It's alright, we're safe. Did I wake you up? Was I being too boring? Well, guess what? Now you're up. Now you're awake. Because we've got into a fierce battle in the depths of the caves as they continue to convert villagers. Ah! This is not good. Eat, 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 This new food system has got me all backwards, man. Because I keep thinking that I'm going to get my hearts replenished regardless of what I do. Oh, so here's another glitch. The, the, I'm not actually collecting the experience. Unless I move. It's so weird. I don't know why they had to make it Minecraft DRM. Can you believe that? Minecraft is DRM. But sure, if you don't have to be connected to the internet to play Minecraft. Yeah, you do. Okay. You might say, oh, well, it still works when you're not connected. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, Minecraft has a DRM. I mean, they have a snooper in it, for crying out loud, that they tell you about. Oh, hello, Lapis. Okay, good, I'm making some progress. Yeah, Minecraft is a DRM game. Don't let them fool you. And the only reason that uh, Minecraft doesn't get in a lot of uh, crap from people for making it a DRM game is because it is possible to play the game offline but the only way you're gonna get the updates and the new content and anything at all that's relevant to the future of the game 
you must be connected to the internet and that's what DRM means okay digital rights management how do they manage their digital rights by forcing you to be connected to the internet that way if at any time there's a problem with copywriting or other intellectual property getting jeopardized oh, hello gold they can just sit, pull the plug so now even if you're connected to the internet if their server isn't on the game no worky no more so there's your DRM in a nutshell it's a terrible evil awful terrible stupid thing that EA is a big proponent of and everybody knows oh EA sucks but not not everybody knows why well EA loves to shove DRM in people's faces and uh, you know basically screw people out of a good gaming experience because they're bombarded by being forced to be connected to the internet which I realize it's almost 2014 but not everybody is either connected to the internet nor has a decent connection these days okay it is still possible and I knew that was a lava lake <laughs> it is possible then in 2014 now that uh, some people still don't have the best internet connection now it does that does bring up another interesting tangent and uh, one that uh, really has no relevance but I gotta keep talking to keep your interest right well it turns out that Google uh, not not so recently maybe about six months to a year this happened comes up with this fiber optic technology that can transfer one gigabyte of information yes 1000 mbps okay that's the speed of the Google Fiber Internet now you're gonna say now wait a minute so even if that is possible like why isn't this like available I haven't heard of this or I have but it's not in my area like what's the deal well Google Fiber the way they got their start is oh, no dead end or is it Google Fiber got their start by putting out this uh, I don't know if it was necessarily a contest but they got they got like people to, to jump into these surveys and, and they picked um, one city it was actually Kansas City uh, Oklahoma uh, is it Kansas? I don't know my geography anyway Kansas City was the first to get the Google Fiber uh, installed as a service and it's just this little box that you hook your internet cables up to and you download it one 1000 Mbps or 1 Gbps now we know that things are improving and the technology is always getting faster but let's face it Google just not only does Google try to set the standard but they try to blow it completely out of the water so they can never be touched until they again you know it's like trying to break a record for holding your breath for 30 seconds and you hold your breath for three days okay that's <laughs> that's and live that's the equivalent of this Google Fiber just think about this for a minute 1000 mbps you know there's some pretty fast fiber optic connections out there most of your standard ISPs okay I've downloaded at 1400 kbps or 1 1.4 mbps and that was super fast I was updating League of Legends in like 30 seconds okay that's 1 1.4 mbps Google Fiber travels at up to 1000 mbps 1,000 times more powerful than your standard ISP bandwidth. Are you kidding me? This is the future of the internet. You will be able to download an entire full-length movie. Okay, remember, uh, a standard DVD is... Oh, good, I made it to the bottom of this ravine. A standard DVD is 4.2 gigabytes. Well, if you're downloading at 1,000 Mbps you're gonna be able to get that movie in about four to five seconds seconds two hours worth of, of content in five seconds this is why the world is going to hell in a handbasket by the way because people are getting too used to having instant gratification I'm telling you in a couple years when Google Fiber is a standard in everybody's house and they can get a movie in five seconds first of all there will no longer be a need for streaming because you will get you'll be able to download stuff in seconds a full-length blu-ray which is a, approximately 20 to 25 gigabytes well if you can get that a gigabyte per second you're gonna get that in about 25 to 30 seconds full 1080p blu-ray quality movies okay 
in 25 to 30 seconds. Okay, those are the same seconds we experience now in the clock. It's not like time's gonna change and go any faster or slower. It's that the rate at which we can get large amounts of data is going to be reduced by a, a huge, huge exponential difference. And, uh, I mean, it sounds great, especially for the pirates. You know they're going to have a field day with that because you'll be able to get stuff so fast they can put it up for like an hour and have a million downloads and then take it down and none, nobody's the wiser. They don't just have to leave stuff hanging up there anymore. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> yeah, because the, the pirates are going to be able to just... Uh, the whole new, whole new culture of, of theft on the internet is going to spawn from this. I, I, I'm almost certain. But let's say that thievery doesn't exist for a moment. Let's let's play the devil's advocate and say there's no such thing as internet pirates and all information is free. Once it's put online, you can't protect it if you put it out there. Okay, fine. But uh, here's the problem as I try to survive these zombie attacks, or skeleton attacks. There's a zombie, I know, and there's the creeper. Crap. Woo. Phew. Okay. <laughs> Now that that moment of terror is over, yeah, Google Fiber, man. I'm, I'm, I'm almost scared. Oh wow, lava layer, lava layer. Let's see if this zombie is an idiot. Nope, <laughs> he's, he's got some intelligence, yay! But he can't get over here. At least I don't think so. Google Fiber, man. What will they think of next? It's just, it's too fast. That's what it is. I mean, I. End you know, and then of course you got Amazon bringing you packages in, thir in 30 minutes or less. You know, with the drones in a couple of years. I mean, this world is get is trying to get stuff so quickly. You know, the next thing, they're going to develop instant 3D printers. You're going to be able to print stuff like they did on Star Trek. like Almost like a, a teleporter or a holodeck, man. It's getting ridiculous. Like, how far are we going to go to get instant gratification where time isn't even going to exist? Okay, one second is going to be too long. Like, that's, that's what it's, it's getting to. People, and of course, the dangers of this is that it reduces people's patience for things that will never be instant, like raising children. That's not going to exist anymore. The human race will ultimately cease to, to continue and multiply because people will just stop having kids because it's too hard and it takes too long. I can't just download a kid from the internet. You mean I got to go through the pain of childbirth and raising them for all these years? Why can't I just print one? Why can't I just have it pre-programmed to do whatever I tell it and be a good little boy or girl? That's what this world is coming to, folks. I'm telling you, it's it's slow. I want to say slow on the grand scheme of things, how slow progression really is, but how fast it makes everything else. That's what it's going to, and uh, it's just it's bad. So that's all I have to say in this video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have an opinion about my opinion. And uh, I look forward to having you come back and watch me again as I attempt to survive the caves and make a complete fool of myself in our desperate attempt for phase one in search of the diamonds. I'll see you later.